What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about fiberglass hoods and this is going to apply to hoods, fenders, whatnot. Guys, huge misconception. Aftermarket parts, you can pull them out of the box and bolt them right on. It don't work like that. Take the time to pull this stuff out and test fit it, especially body parts. So don't pull this hood out of the box, send it to the paint shop, get painted. You're going to be pissed when you go to put it on and it's hitting. You got to trim your freshly painted stuff. So a Trailblazer SS here. This is uh, my daily driver, and I've just put a glass tech hood on it. And you'll notice it isn't painted yet. Guys, I like the sun to beat on this stuff for a little bit and dry out the gel coat. I've seen a lot of times where fresh gel coat right out of the mold, you go to paint it, and it'll actually start bubbling the paint. It's got some sort of chemical reaction. So let the sun beat on this stuff a little bit just to kind of dry out that, let all the, the resin cure in the hood. And a couple areas that I want to show you that you are going to need to trim on a lot of hoods. So that's going to be back here in this hinge area. Very, very common for like the long lips that a lot of times these hoods come with to hit the hinge and it'll kind of stick the hood up above the fender. A lot of times you're going to need to adjust the fenders in and out. So making sure that this hood line is nice and flush. And actually on this hood, it was pretty straightforward. I really didn't need to adjust it. Same thing over here. You may need to pull that fender in or out just to make sure that lines up. A lot of times I pull the headlights out in the grill shell and get this stuff lined up, cut nice and tight, and then put the stuff back in. So if it's hanging low a lot of times, I'll come in with like a piece of tape and a Sharpie and actually start cutting this back a little bit and test fitting everything. And then kind of last but not least, let me pop open the hood here. So you're going to have to bear with me, guys, because it's probably a little dirty under here from the pollen and it's rained like every day non-stop so a lot of times you have probably seen where these hoods are going to come with the big old three eighths or actually probably even more than that probably five eighths to three quarter inch lip sticking down well a lot of times guys that's going to run into like your rubber bumpers or like your fender bolts or something like that and that ain't smooth so that's the biggest area people get in trouble with they leave that long lip on there and you got to remember the factory hood doesn't come with that. It's usually just kind of a, a rolled over pinch point and about this thick. So what I do, I actually, I go in and I cut that back to where it's flush with the inside of the, the inner part of the hood here. And it's all glued together in here. Really that long lip is, I think, honestly, just for mold purposes to keep it square in the mold. And then when they glue it together, I've done honestly a hundred hoods like this. Never had an issue. So take the time. To cut that lip back and you'll need to do that on the side you'll probably also need to do it on the back as well because a lot of times that big lip hanging down is gonna hit on like your plastic cow pieces here but guys that's pretty much it just want to show you a couple things that you'll need to do if you buy a hood i highly encourage you guys to make those couple trim areas there don't be in a hurry that's probably the number one thing people do is they get in a hurry and it's taking a little bit of time to maybe adjusting these fenders just a little bit is going to save you a lot of heartache. So I'm actually getting ready to pull this hood off here pretty soon and get it painted. But guys, if you're looking for some nice fiberglass, I highly encourage the Glass Tech stuff. VFN makes really good stuff. I know there's a lot of different companies out there, kind of depending on what kind of car you have that may specialize in a, in a certain thing. But just want to give you a couple tips here. As always, guys, do not forget to like subscribe do all the things we're going to drop the social media links in the description down below comment let me know if this stuff helps or if you know you've got some extra things that you'd like to add to this video always willing to listen to you guys and hear some of your success stories in the meantime y'all appreciate you watching we'll catch you on the next video